In this video, I'll show you how to delete files from OneDrive without deleting them from your computer. So the first thing you need to do is launch up your OneDrive folder. Now you can do that by clicking on your start menu and just searching for OneDrive and opening up the folder. Alternatively, you can just select OneDrive from your taskbar and click on open folder. Now once you're in OneDrive, these are all the files and folders that we can delete. Now before you delete them, you need to make sure you have a saved copy on your computer. So for example, let's say I wanted to delete all of these files files here. Well, before deleting them, you need to make sure you actually have them backed up and saved on your computer. So you can do that just by selecting all of the files like this, right clicking on them and then selecting the copy icon. Now you can just head over to your desktop and then right click somewhere on your desktop and press the paste icon to paste these files over. Now, as you can see, these files already exist on my desktop, so I actually don't need to do this. I can just press the cross icon, but effectively, you just need to make sure any files you delete from OneDrive are already saved onto your system. It doesn't matter where you save them. It could be in your documents, desktop, pictures. It doesn't really matter where, as long as they're saved somewhere other than this OneDrive folder. Now, once you've ensured that they're backed up, just simply select the files that you want to delete, right click and press the trash icon to delete them. And just like that, we've now deleted them and freed up that space in our OneDrive. Now to prevent OneDrive from automatically detecting these files again on our computer and then syncing them back up to OneDrive, what you would need to do is click on the OneDrive icon in the taskbar, click on settings in the top right and select settings. Then click on account, click on choose folders, and then you just want to choose which files and folders you want to allow and sync on OneDrive. So you can either just uncheck this box here or you can select each file and folder individually and press OK. And it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.